This is a tutorial video to make submitting your lesson or resource to the ICPOMS database easier. Whether you are submitting your lesson or resource for approval, or just for your own use in later submission, this video will provide easy step-by-step -step directions for their uploading. The first thing you should do after creating and perfecting your lesson is navigate your browser to the CPOMS homepage at www.cpoms.org. Once you are at the site, you will want to either log into your account or create one. To do this, you will want to click on Register or Login. The buttons for these actions are located on the top right of the web page. After logging in or creating your account, make sure you are still on the CPOMS homepage. Locate the section of the page that says Create slash Submit a Resource and click on the blue link that says Click Here to get started. This action will navigate you to a page with five options for resources to add. We will be focusing on submitting lesson plans, so you will want to click the choice that reads Create Lesson Plan from Template. After choosing this option, click the gray button at the bottom of the screen that reads Add this resource. The next page shows a list of eight steps you will need to take to submit your lesson. Be sure to have all information outlined in these steps, as they are all required. Before continuing, note that you can save and continue your lesson submission at a later time. You can also backtrack and edit previous information while submitting your lesson. When you are ready to continue, click the gray button at the bottom of the screen that reads Next Step. The next page will allow you to add lessons related to benchmarks or access points. First, you will want to create your alignment source. For purposes of this tutorial, we will be adding a sample lesson plan related to benchmark SC.912.L.14.7. Since it has been our sample lesson throughout the summit training. After selecting your alignment source, choose the subject area, grade level, body of knowledge, and idea. You have selected NGSSS Science Grade 912 Life Science and Standard 1-4. Underneath the options you have selected, a list of available benchmarks will appear. When you have located the benchmark your lesson focuses on, click the button to the right of it that reads Add. Your benchmark will appear under Aligned Standards, which is located below the list of available benchmarks. Make sure you add all benchmarks related to your lesson plan or access point to the Aligned Standards list. When you are done adding benchmarks, click the gray button at the bottom of the screen that reads Next Step. On the next page, you will need to add formative assessments feedback to students, and summative assignments related to your lesson plan or access point. We have added entries associated with our sample lesson plan for sc.912.l.14.7 for your reference. If you are transferring data from a Word file, a screen will pop up on the browser screen that says the text needs formatting. Click OK to continue. You may pause this video if you need time to read our sample entries. When you are done filling the required fields, click the Next Step button at the bottom of the screen. On the next page, you will choose your lesson plan template and outline your general lesson plan. The information you submit for these sections will comprise the body of your lesson plan, so it is important to be detailed. For this tutorial, we will use the learning cycle template. Remember, this tutorial is just an example. The template you choose will differ based on the expected outcome and the intended use of your lesson. If you are unsure which template to use, click on each option. A description of the template and its use will appear underneath the selection pane. After selecting your template, fill in all the pertinent data for the lesson plan. If you are transferring data from a Word file, the ICPOM site will need to format it before pasting it into the entry box. You may pause this video if you need time to read our sample entries. Again, for this tutorial, we will fill in data related to a sample lesson related to the benchmark SC.912.L.14.7. On the next page, you will input more information related to your lesson plan. 
First, enter any lesson accommodations for special needs students and extensions to the lesson. Note, extensions refer to homework, individual activities, reviews, and assessments. After filling in accommodations and extensions, check the boxes of any required or suggested technology, materials needed for the in-class activity, and recommendations, if any, for the lesson. When you are done with your entries, click on the Next Step button at the bottom of the screen. Next, you will name your lesson and summarize it. The lesson title should be unique and pertain to the concepts in your lesson. The summary should break down the lesson and outline the concepts introduced in the lesson. For the most part, lessons being submitted by Summit trainees, and most other teachers for that matter, will be submitted to ICPOMS. Therefore, we will outline that choice in this tutorial. If you are submitting a lesson for another collection or initiative, make sure you know the right choice, as there are many options for this section. You will next want to choose the subject, grade level, intended audience, and keywords for your lesson plan. For our sample lesson associated with SC.912.L.14.7, the subject is science, the grade levels associated with the lesson are 9 through 12, and the intended audience is educators. If you are submitting a lesson plan, your intended audience will be educators as well. You may choose to add information related to the time frame of the lesson, instructional component types, nature of instruction, and public remarks. If you are not sure about an option, roll it over with your mouse and a description of the option will be given to you. When choosing the nature of instruction, you will most likely want to choose Direct Instruction and Guided Inquiry Level 3, as this represents the model of inquiry supported by Summit. When you are finished, click the Next Step button at the bottom of the screen. If you have resources to attach to your lesson plan, such as PowerPoint presentations, images, or handouts, this is the page you would do this. Paste the file into the Upload File box and click Submit. As you add resources, they will appear under the Selected Resources section. You can also attach CPOM resources to your lesson if they are available. When attachable CPOM resources are available, they will appear under the Attach Related CPOMs Resources section of the page. When you are finished attaching resources, click the Next Step button at the bottom of the screen. On this page, you will choose the permissions for your lesson. You will most likely make the access privileges public and the license as CC attribution non-commercial share alike. If you are unsure about whether to share your lesson plan, click the link at the top of the page that reads, click here to learn about the benefits of sharing your resources. The last thing you will do before submitting your lesson is check the terms and conditions box. Review your lesson plan by revisiting the tabs on the left side of the screen. When you feel like everything is ready, click the Save and Share button at the bottom right of the Source and Access Info tab. Congratulations! If you followed along with this tutorial, you are now ready to submit your very own lesson plans and resources to the IC Palms website.